This presentation gives an overview on the options of Max and Spindle drives. Always use the sales checklist when ordering a Max and Spindle drive. The chances that you can just use the standard product without options or modifications are very, very small. And anyway, with the checklist you don't forget to ask all the necessary questions. I assume you don't sell them every day, do you? The first option concerns the screw length. There is a standard length in the catalogue. The standard option SPIN01 allows to get special lengths up to a predefined maximum. Distinguish between shorter than standard and longer than standard. The limitation of special lengths in 5mm steps only will be cancelled in the catalogue 2014. There are more screw options available which are not displayed as standard options in the catalogue. It not only concerns screw length but also different ball screw leads and diameters. You can find these non-standard options in the sales wiki. Of course, the screw length depends on the application and the mounting situation. The calculation of the total length L follows the equation that can be found in the operating instructions. It is recommended to support the spindle end of long screws by a counterbearing. Use a push fit to account for thermal expansion. Spin 02 is a standard suggestion how the spindle end should look like. All the dimensions are available on request. Since modifying the length and machining the screw end can be done in one step, there will be no additional charge. The next three options, spin 03, 04 and 05, concern nut modifications. The standard nut is the so-called thread nut. This animation shows schematically how the spindle drive are mounted. The thread nut is screwed into the slider. Observe that nuts on ball screws must never be removed, never. Spin 03 is the so-called cylinder nut without thread. The loads need to be clamped on this nut. However, it was not in demand a lot, hence it was cancelled as a standard option that can be found in the catalogue. But it's still available as non-standard option. Option SPIN04 is a nut with a flange for mounting the load. In case you have such a flange nut on a ball screw with its much larger diameter, mounting might become difficult. You're not allowed to remove the ball screw nut, so you need a larger hole in the support and the spindle drive can only be mounted if you use the rectangular flange option SPIN06 instead. The last option, SPIN05, applies to ball screws only. There, the use of a preloaded nut eliminates the actual play of the nut. This allows a more precise positioning, in particular it has a positive effect on the repeatability. For the pricing of spindle drive options and modifications, please refer to the modification catalog and the price list. An interesting additional possibility is to use the extra strong screw support for applications with high actual and radial loads. Instead of mounting a screw into the gearhead output planet carrier, it's also possible to fix a strong shaft. So, this was the tour through the options of Max and Spindle drives. But don't forget to use the checklist.